Period five, activity three. Salah Al Din, eleven thirty eight to eleven ninety three, a leader ahead of his time. After Salah Al Din had brought together large parts of the Muslim world, he turned to Jerusalem. The city had been in Crusader hands all his life, and from eleven eighty two. He started preparing to free it from them. As a strong believer in God and the Prophet, peace be upon him, he believed that he must do this. He prepared well, and in summer 1187, he defeated them at the Battle of Hittin. Weeks later, Jerusalem fell. For Muslims everywhere, this was a great moment. It was the opposite in Europe, and a new crusade began in 1189. But things went badly for the crusaders. By summer 1192, most had died or left Palestine. Only two thousand men under King Richard of England turned east from the Mediterranean to attack Jerusalem. Then Richard became sick. And this has given us a famous story. Salah al Din did not attack, and instead he sent Richard fruit, snow to make cool water, and even his personal doctor. Stories like this show a leader who behaved fairly and generously, as well as one who was brave and intelligent. They show us a leader who was ahead of his time. Salah al Din and Richard never met, but they respected each other greatly, and they made peace in 1192. Jerusalem remained in Muslim hands, but people of both religions could travel there freely. This was almost Salah al Din's last important act. He died in Damascus in 1193. Today, in another dangerous age, we must hope that there will soon be peace again and that Jerusalem will again be open to all.